hoping to come back and do my thing. All right, I'm live. Okay, good. <laughs> Let me get this one up and going. See, I can't, I don't have any um, comments this way. Hmm. Oh, all the comments come down there. Okay, I'm learning. Hi, everybody, if you're there. I'm just trying to get this, let's see, make this big. Click to expand, that's what I wanna do. Now I can see the comments, if there are any. I'm sideways, but, <laughs> well, I see a few people are watching. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Sorry, people, I have to sort of go back and forth. It's, um, oh, now I can see them on here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'll let people hop on. Hey, Theo. I gotta see where I'm supposed to be looking. I think I never know where to look on this thing. <laughs> yeah, but you know, they say that, that you don't have to look in the camera now. I don't know, it's so crazy. All right, got a few people here. That's awesome, okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. Hey, Julie. I haven't seen you for a while. Nice to see some familiar names. And Hello, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer had to sign up for Facebook again just to watch this because she hadn't, hadn't been on Facebook in a while. <laughs> we were just talking about how much Facebook annoys us lately, so I don't blame you. It's just kind of nice to do these. Hey, Sylvia and Gina. Show us the bling. Okay, Jennifer wants to see my, my new diamond earrings. So I don't know if they'll show up on here. Can you see them? Um, I don't know. So my husband came home and surprised me with these rather large. Do they show up? Can you see them on there? I don't know. Let's see, I'll pull my hair. Let me put my hair back there. There, there now go. you can see. So my husband brought me back, not brought me back. He came home a couple weeks ago and um, we don't exchange gifts because it's ridiculous. We have everything we could possibly need and then some, but <laughs> he went out shopping and uh, he came home and, and he yells upstairs and he's like, hey, are you gonna come down and help me take all this stuff up? And I'm like, uh, yeah, and it was just kind of weird. It's not his normal way of being with me. And um, so, I, I, I walked towards the stairs to go down to help him and there's no groceries there. So I said to him, well, are you gonna get the groceries so that I can help you? It's just this really weird exchange. And um, he's got one hand behind his back and, I, and I'm walking towards him and he's looking really awkward, like he had something bad to tell me or something. I don't know what it was. And all of a sudden, like he's like, I can't keep a surprise. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I had no idea. And I said, what's going on? And then he just comes up to me and he's crying because my husband's the most emotional man. He's so sweet. And he's just like, I really love you so much. You're just the best wife ever. And you work so hard at your business. And I just really feel like I wanted to do something super nice for you and something super special. And I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> and he got me these beautiful big rocks. So <laughs> that was nice of him, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, Julie, you said, let's try that again. Was it not working or something? Hopefully everything's working. It's working okay. All right, good. Yeah, well, I thought it was really sweet because it's nice to get a gift um, where I don't, like we didn't ask for something. It's just nice to have a surprise, right? Hey, Patty. All righty, so let's get started. So let's get the good stuff out of the way. Are we good? No, I'm going to just do a couple more things here. and then Car I've, Carmen, my lovely assistant, is helping me because um, I had to, like, basically we're standing on our head and upside down to do this today. So um, it's kind of a little confusing. Am I hearing myself somewhere? Oh, maybe they should not be. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing I've got is I've got a couple of giveaways for you guys. So the only thing that you have to do to be eligible to win these giveaways is to leave a comment below and just tell me how fantastic I am. You know, that's all. Just, <laughs> just you know, something like that. So the first one is the brand new line, which I'll show you. I'm sure most of you have seen it now because everybody's been doing videos on it. But Tierra Cast left uh, or sent me a... Um, little gift bag of um, all of their new parts in their new, um, what is this new, Renew Renewal, I think, is their new uh, 
line. So there's uh, one of each piece in there. There's a, enough for earrings and then my favorite little B button and everything. So that's one of the gifts that you can win. And I'm not sure what the value is of that because I didn't really, um, I didn't ask them. But that's lovely and it's all in gold. So we've got that one. And then I've got a super fabulous one that was given to me by Softlex, the lovely people at Softlex. So there is a, um, a bag of all kinds of beads and finings. And then if I turn it around, you can see here a bunch of their different colors of the Softlex wire and some of their, um, their craft wire. And this is lovely. Now this, is, this one here is worth almost, it's just shy of $100. So that is a really, really lovely gift. So I've got the two um, prizes for today. So all you have to do is tell me how fabulous I am. And, <laughs> and then um, I'm going to do a random draw. And I'll probably, what's today? Is Wednesday? I'll probably do it on Friday. So it'll give everybody a couple days to um, watch. And then I will um, send you a little note that you've won. So um, we're going to do like, like a random thing. There's like these uh, computerized things that you can do. So it'll be fair. And um, that's about it, I guess. So, oh, thank you, Wanda. I put on makeup and, and lipstick. <laughs> Most days I don't bother. Oh, yes, Kimberly, the new TR cast release is lovely. So, yes, I am Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I have kind of a weird system here. My um, laptop is to the right of me so that I can maybe look over. I probably won't answer a lot of comments. So what I'll do is I make sure to hop back on the end. And if you have any um, questions, you can ask them. What I'm going to do is like, so I have a huge amount of stock coming in. And of course, it didn't all arrive. You know, that's the way things are supposed to go, right? So my huge um, semi-precious stock is out there. I've got five boxes arriving on Friday and I've got another two or three huge boxes arriving um, maybe in a week or so. So I was going to do those today but they didn't arrive. So I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that I got. So because um, I did I pretended that I went to Tucson and I spent a whole ton of money as much as I would in Tucson. It was fun. My credit card didn't like it so much but <laughs> so Anyway, so I'm gonna show you all these sort of things. So now um, I have to take my camera out of the little holder and I'm going to put it in the other little holder so you'll see a little bit of jiggly and uh, me probably freaking out because um, I'm stressed. But let's just hope that it works. So we're about to try this. If I lose you, I will re -come, ba uh, come back on and uh, make sure to come back and join me so that you can see all the fun things that we've got. All right, so let's give this a try. Thank you, Carmen. I'm pretty set up at home for um, my my videos, but not for these lives. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to move this thing this way. Ah, there we go. Okay, can we see? All right, I'm just going to put something down here just to make sure that it, um, yeah, we can see. Is that good? Okay, good. Thank you for your assistance, ma'am. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to look at my computer every once in a while to um, see if I have to answer anybody, but... Yes, Kimberly, you know, it's funny, like today I was supposed to... Um, I was supposed to have left two days ago if I was going to Tucson, and um, I wouldn't have been able to make it because the I-5 uh, in the West Coast, like down by um, Redding, California, is closed due to snow. So I wouldn't have got through this year anyway. So, you know, maybe it was supposed to be. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you, and hopefully this will, I'm trying to find the best sort of place. Okay, oops, sorry, the jiggles. I cannot move this thing at all. Okay, let me put that over there. Okay, so here is Tiercast's new uh, renewal uh, line. And I apologize because this is jiggling, um, but I have to just be super careful here. So. They send this little lovely kit with all these little bits and bobs in here. Um, it's a really small line, but I think it's really sweet. So this is their new um, succulent uh, charm, which I think is really cute. And I'll probably use that one a fair amount because I like the size of it. And it's finished nice on both sides. So that is their new succulent charm. And I think that one's really cool. And this one's really interesting. This is their new Lu Luna Moth. Is it? Yeah, Luna Moth, I believe it's called. Uh, and this one's great because it's like a connector. It's got 
holes on the sides in the corner of the wings and then you've got one at the top and then you've got one at the bottom here so this one um, is just super versatile you can use this for a lot of different things so that's their new um, Luna pendant now also I should tell you that everything I think um, I'm pretty sure that everything that I'm going to show you today is already on the website with the exception of this um, with these pieces we're not allowed to start selling them until uh, February the 4th so they will be live on my website on the 4th so I'm just looking at some of the comments yeah so and now um, next to this we have our uh, Monstera is that what it's called yeah. Monstera yeah we have a plant person here <laughs> Carmen's really into plants. So this is their Monstera uh, leaf button, which is really cool. So I think that one's a really unique button. I'm loving that. So I have all of these. They're just not available to be sold yet. And this is my absolute favorite. When I saw this, I literally squealed. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that B button. That is just the coolest thing. And I quickly whipped up a pair of earrings and um, I'm gonna do those in a, uh, YouTube video in the next couple weeks so this is just my absolute most favorite thing that they've come out with in a very long time and I love their product right but this one is really really cool so yeah now we also have their little honeycomb which is really unique uh, you know you can have it running uh, up and down like this vertical or you can have it horizontal you can have it on a bit of an angle I'm gonna, of course, work with it and try and get some leather through there and we'll see what I can create. But this is really a unique piece and I think this one is just super uh, flexible. You can do just about anything with it. So we have the honeycomb. And then they also have their succulent uh, ear wires. So this has the little succulent at the top and then it has a little loop so that you could dangle some things off the bottom. So I think, oh, hey, mom. <laughs> My mom's on here. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so those, I think this is a really fun little uh, um, line that they've got. It's just a small line, but I think it's lovely. So that is the new Tierra Cast line, and that will be available on February the 4th. So we will have all of that on there. Now I'm going get, to get to some of the other stuff. I'm just going to have a little short slurp and then see what you guys are saying here. Hey, Karen. Got all my family here today. Yes, I love the B buttons too. They're so nice. Okay, so unfortunately we're going to hear a lot of bags rustling and stuff because I have to have all this stuff in bags. But that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, I've got one more here that is the same. So the, one of the big things right now is laser cut pendants. And I got these ones in. I'll see, I'll hold one up so you can see it there. So they're quite small. Um, they're only like, there's my thumbnail, just so you can see the, the size relationship. So the, this one's stainless steel. I think they're both stainless steel, but this one's got a gold coating. So these are a laser cut pendant. And I thought they would look really, really cute just as a little charm or on a you know pair of earrings or a small pendant. You could load up a little bit of, you know, some beads on the top, one bead and just hang it off of chain and really simple. So it comes in this sort of stainless steel kind of color, and then it also comes in the gold. So loving those ones. So I, what I'll do is, um, these are all on my website and they're under the uh, page called the um, Tucson Reveal, I think is what I called it. So you don't have to look all around my website. You can just go onto that one page and everything I show you today will be on that one page. So that will make life easier. Okay, so then I also have, I'm going to probably say okay, and then I also have about a thousand times today. <laughs> so now I have these chakra ones. So that one is, uh, this is so pretty. That one is in the stainless steel, and then this one is in rose gold. Look at those ones. Love that rose gold one. And I'm not even a big rose gold fan, but you know, I just think that one's so pretty. So those ones are $5.00. And these are the laser cut pendants too. So they're a little pricier because of the laser cutting, but they're fabulous. So all the sales will be from the website, not through the live. Yes, yeah, so you have to go onto my website. If you wanted to purchase any of these things, they will be on the website. It's it's ready to go now. I turned it on and uh, the, the page, so it's, it's up and ready for you to look at. Just go to the very top and you'll see all the different um, pages. You're just gonna look for the one at the very top that says Tucson Reveal. Okay. 
All right, so now this one is an om, and this is in, probably doesn't look so good on there because it's yellow, but this is in a matte gold, and it's got the, um, yeah, it's got the, I guess that's a lotus flower, and then it's got the um, om, om, <laughs> I never know how to say that, in the middle. So, and that's a nice little charm. So I've got that one. And I'm trying to make sense of everything. Now, years ago, when I had my jewelry line, I had something like this in sterling silver, and I I made a ton of jewelry with these kind of washers that have the words on them. And I managed to find these in just a base metal so that they're a little bit more affordable. And this one says Love, Faith, Hope on it. And these look fabulous with a on a bracelet if you put some chain on it or you can do some beading. They also look really cute um, on a necklace. I used to just put jump rings and then um, hang it directly from my chain. So, um, this is a, this, these are super versatile. Now I'll be honest and I, I'll say that they're not what I would call like AAA quality or anything. They're, you know, they're a base metal, so they're not gonna be as perfect as the sterling silver ones were, but the sterling silver ones got super expensive. They were up about almost $25, I think. That's why I stopped carrying them. So um, these ones, I can't remember what the price was, but these are pretty affordable. So I think those ones are fun. I also have a couple things. You know, normally when I go to Tucson, I just buy a little bit of everything. So that's kind of what I did on this buy. So kind of random things. So one, I've got this um, this blingy pendant because bling is really still popular. And this one's gold. So it's gold on the back. And then it has the little rhinestones. And that one is probably about an inch or so in size. And then I have a round one in silver. And I love this one. I like both of them. But I think this one is more my cup of tea, just super simple. And you could hang this from a, a chain or do whatever you wanted to. You could dangle something in the middle. And these are pretty affordable too. I think this one is $1.50 and this one might be like $2.99 or something like that. Maybe $3.99. But this one I know was pretty affordable. So I think those ones are really cute. I'll probably say really cute a lot too. <laughs> okay, another thing now, <laughs> I really messed up when I, you know, it's hard ordering online. I, I just find it easier to shop in person. But um, sometimes, whoops, sorry, I banged the camera. Um, sometimes my boo-boos are a good thing because I bought so many of these, I decided, well, I'm going to do these in the $5 findings. So sorry, the jiggles here. Um, so these are the seven different chakra charms. And don't ask me what they are because I, I, I know nothing of this. I just buy it and everybody says they like it. So these will come in a set of seven and they'll be in our $5 uh, bag findings section. So they're $5 if you buy three or more, not of the same thing. You can buy any three bags and they come down to $4. So they're three for 12. So they're pretty affordable and these ones are really great. So I'm just looking to see. <laughs> you already, you know, Jen, when I saw that, I was like, I bet you Jen will like that. <laughs> yeah, so these ones are super great quality. They're about the size of a nickel, I think, maybe around there. So these are going to be super affordable, I think, to get uh, seven charms for, you know, if you're smart and you do the $4 bag, that's pretty cheap. So those are new. And I know one of my customers that will love those. She buys them all the time. Okay, what else have I got here? Okay, so I got some fun, super fun stuff that is, I don't know if it's gonna show up so well, but I'm hoping it will. So these are little gold hearts. Let's try to get them on my fingers here. So you can see that they've got little um, loops on the end, but they're flexible. So see how it's flexible there? So this would make the most perfect little petite necklace with just, because this is all in style right now, all the um, really tiny little things are really in style. So you could put a simple fine gold chain on there and use that as a layering necklace and I think it would be absolutely fabulous. Now these are really, really good quality uh, pieces. Um, these ones are a little more on the expensive side because of, of the quality of the materials in them. Um, this one's very tiny. You can see like with my finger next to it how little it is. It's very small, but it would just be so perfect with just tiny little um, fine gold chain on there. I think that one is super sweet. And in that same line, 
I thought this was kind of fun. This is a little trapezoid pendant with a little um, rhinestone inside. So it's hard, hard to show these things sometimes. I'm not very Vanna White with it. So you can see on the side, it's got like the little opening and then the crystal just kind of hangs out in the middle. You can see on that, that way too. But this is like a little a trapezoid kind of thing. I don't know what they call it. I know there's probably some sort of technical term that I don't know. <laughs> but I thought just on a simple chain or maybe on a piece of leather, this one would be really, really pretty. You can see it sparkling there. I think that's lovely. So, gosh, my hands look so big on my screen there. <laughs> it's a good thing I just moisturized them, make them look a little better. Now, the other thing that's really, really popular right now, especially in the United States, and I, I do shop a lot in the United States because, uh, you know, that's just easier for me. So this type of a plain heart, I think this is modeled after a bit of a, like a Tiffany heart. So this one's in gold and it's just absolutely flat. You can add texture to this if you want. You could hammer it. You could also stamp initials in there. You can engrave it. You can do whatever you like with it or you can just leave it plain. So from some of the pieces that I see, um, you can do like a chunkier chain on here. Um, maybe have a toggle in the front and hang that off the toggle. But just a plain gold heart like that is super, super popular right now. And I'm loving that. I think that one's really, really pretty. And that one's only $2.25, so that one's not too bad. And sorry, there's lots of bags and noise. And So thank you everybody for showing up today. I appreciate it. Okay, now look at this one. Is that not the cutest thing? Love. So I know it's hard to see when it looks a little like that, but I think that one is so sweet. Again, make a really fabulous layered uh, necklace with just a little bit of fine chain on it. I think this one would be really, really lovely. So and this would make a really great gift for somebody too. A nice little sentiment. <laughs> That's awesome, Jennifer. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. I know that you're always very busy. As most people are we're all super busy right you should have seen me getting this all together my uh my it was not working so i had to have about four people helping me <laughs> this was crazy okay so this is a it, it looks like a v but it's just meant to be a simple little um adornment on a necklace so it's got loops on either side and then it just kind of goes down to a V, but it doesn't, it doesn't signify like it's not supposed to be a V, if you know what I mean. So it could be if you wanted. If your name is Viola, then it would be perfect. But otherwise, it's just kind of a cool little thing. So again, you could just do simple chain on it, and this would be a really great piece for a layering necklace. And again, I'm trying to kind of go in groups of where I bought from and that kind of stuff. The last one from that line that's really cute is this little half moon with little cutouts. I think those are hearts in there. Yeah, they're little hearts inside there. Isn't that cute? I'm loving that one. So again, that it's, it's small. It's just, you can see in the size of my finger next to it. It's really small, but it's, um, it's very dainty. And again, would be perfect for one of these layering sort of necklaces. Sorry, I have to have a a little drink of water. Okay, what else do I have here? So I found these and I thought they were just the cutest little things. I'm gonna say that a million times, but. <laughs> so these, are, this is wood, this is walnut wood and you can see it kind of comes in all different colors, but they're just little charms. You can see there how it's got the, it's got a, um, a hole on the top that's about 1.5, maybe close to two millimeters. So you could probably get a 1.5 uh, millimeter um, leather in there. Good Lord, Kelly, get your brain to work here. <laughs> so these would make really cute earrings. Although when you get them, if you don't specify that you're going to try and make earrings, it, we're, we're just going to grab two and put them in the bag. But if you wanted a matching set, we could do our best. Uh, although they're not going to be exact, but we will try for you if you if you request it. But I thought this would make a lovely little charm, really cute for a pair of earrings or just a small pendant on a necklace. Again, the Larry necklace thing is huge right now. So um, I've tried to buy, I don't usually buy a lot of little things. So 
Uh, no, Catherine, a lot of this stuff does not come in silver. Gold is the, is the color right now. I am not a gold person at all. But some of it just doesn't come in silver. So when it does, I try to find it, or I do buy it, uh, but it often doesn't. So yeah, Heidi, you could add a little charm. Although they're tiny little pieces, those ones are only about 20 millimeters, you could add one. Now another one of my absolute favorite things that I bought, and I know that's silly, but <laughs> I just love these. They're just a little charm, and that one is in antique bronze, and it's hammered. And then this one is in silver. And that one is like an antique kind of silver. And they're very tiny. You can see again next to my finger how little they are. Uh, these ones are made in, in America. They're really good quality and they're just adorable. So I can see definitely some videos coming up with these in them. So got those little ones. I'm gonna have quite the pile of stuff here to go through. Anybody seen any favorites yet? Now, if you're just, I'm going to say this a few times throughout the video, but if you're just hopping on, make sure to go back to the beginning of the video so that you can see the, um, the couple gifts I have for, or prizes that I'm giving away. And all you have to do to be able to win one of them is to put a comment about how fabulous I am <laughs> on, on uh, the page. And I will be drawing it on Friday. So this I'll be putting this out uh, as a replay so you'll be able to see what you could win. And there's some a couple fabulous prizes. So here's something else. You got tons of favorites already, Jen? <laughs> All right, so these are for leather. This is for 10 millimeter leather. So you can, I, I meant to bring a piece and of course I didn't. But you can see on the side how you'd be able to get your 10 millimeter leather through there. So this is just a little puffy heart. So I've got, I used to carry these ones, but I've just brought them back in. So this is the antique silver and antique copper and antique brass. So we've got all three of those. I'm just gonna try to, push some of this stuff off to the side. And some things I just bought for fun. Um, I normally don't carry stuff like this too often, but I thought, you know, let's have something fun. So this is Mother of Pearl, and you can see that it just has a gold, um, gold on the side. I'll just pull out some of these because there's so many out here now. But they come in the th three or four different colors. So they're pink. Mm. Oops, sorry, goodness gracious. So pink and blue and green, and I think there is a gold one there. So I thought these two would also be really cute for a layering necklace. Just add something simple and you've got a really cute charm. And they're only $2.99, so they're, they're pretty affordable. Uh, Corky, yes, I do ship to the States. We, uh, we use a third-party carrier and we ship to the States uh, twice, if not more, but at least twice a week. So, and our shipping to the United States is only $6.99. And if you buy over $100, then you um, get it for free. So I think our shipping is pretty reasonable because I can't ship that cheap in Canada. So Canada, our shipping is ridiculous. It's so expensive. To ship something back east costs me almost $20. So when anybody orders from Canada, I have to usually cough up about $12 of my own money. So it's super frustrating, but there's nothing we can do. That's just the way it is. Okay, so I found these. Uh, these are laser cut stainless steel. And I'll put a couple of this last color. So this is like a stainless steel color and we've got a light gold, a rose gold. And then I called these ones mermaid because you can see that every single one has a different color. So I think these are really fun. Now, these will just kind of be what they are because when you turn them over, you can see they're all different colors, but these are fabulous. And they're not, I don't think these ones are very expensive. I think they're about a dollar. So um, yes, yeah, Shelly, everything that you'll see here today is going to be on my website. Just go to the top of the, it's just towards the top of the um, website and you'll see where it says Tucson Reveal and everything is right on that one page. Yeah, it does look like mermaid scales there, doesn't it, Wanda? Yeah, I thought this one was really fun. So we've got silver, gold, rose gold, and then the mermaid. So um, those are cute. And those ones are about the size of a dime, if you're just trying to 
figure out sizing. Okay, I think that's everything on this one area. So I'm gonna scoosh this over so I've got some room. Okay, so let's go. I don't wanna keep you guys here for like three hours, which I could. Um, so I'll try to just start whipping through things. So I'll go through the um, check glass because that's the fun stuff. So I got a bunch of different check glass that I've never had before because, you know, why buy stuff that you've already had? Now these made me drool. I absolutely love these. They're a big 10 by 14 curvy rondelle. And this one is, I don't know what color this one, transparent something or other. It's got a, tur um, sorry, a, what do you call that finish on there? Picasso finish, but this one is juicy. Love that. So I got that one and <laughs> Jen, you had three hours. You'd have to pour yourself a nice little drink to get through three hours of this. Got that one, that one, and oh yeah, this one is my favorite. And I really wish that I'd bought more of these, but um, I went back to their website to buy them all and they were all gone. I was like, oh no, but look at that color. That, let's see, get it up there. Look at that teal. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. So I have those three colors. That's sort of a, a cobalt blue, the teal, and then the, I don't know, champagne -y color or whatever. I'm not really too sure what that is. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll just have to start pushing stuff out of the way here now. <laughs> okay. I love my um, rondelles the um, nine, six by nine rondelles. And this one is so pretty. It's got my favorite colors of browns and sort of that dark tealy blue. And then it's got a Picasso finish. So this one, if you're looking for it, is ABC 474. Just in case you're really wanting to find something that um, I've got. So I think this is one of my favorite uh, color combinations. I love that one. I guess you guys are all busy lately watching so, so many shows because everybody's doing them because we couldn't go to Tucson, so we had to do something else. All right, so this one is ABC 498. I've called it Thistle. And so this one is sort of a pretty soft, purpley mauve. I think in the States you call it mauve. <laughs> we say mauve in Canada. Um, and it has a little bit of a luster finish on it. So this is really, really pretty. Nice soft purple. Love that one. It's funny how just a little imaginary line between countries and we can say things so differently. This one is ABC 473. This one's a transparent um, with a, I wish I could read that, transparent Picasso, but it almost has like a little fleck of a pink in it. I don't know if you can see it on there, but that one's quite lovely. So that's another nice one. I think check glass next to um, semi precious. I think check glass is my favorite kind of bead. Oh, my lighting is good. Oh, excellent. I like that. Okay. So now this one is really cool. This is um, it's called mulberry, and it kind of looks like that mercury glass. And this one has a bit of a sort of champagne -y pink color. Uh, and this one is ABC. 484 uh, and this one's called mulberry but look at that that one is so so pretty I kind of went crazy when it came to the rondelles because I just find that you can use these in so many things and this one is ABC 462 um, and it's this is a champagne mix so you can see on this one that you get some greens and some champagne colors and some browns. Uh, this one is really unique and very lovely. So that's that one. Oh, you like the mercury? Yes, that would be really nice for beachy kind of things. And the prices I'm talking about, yes, they are in Canadian um, dollars. So um, if you buy from the United States, you will save yourself approximately 25 to 30%. Just depends on what your bank charges for the exchange rate. 
So it doesn't come off at the tail, it comes off from your bank. So you will see a savings there. So this one, I'm just gonna pull the little tag up of there. This one is really unique. It, this one is called light green with a bronze wash on it. And this one is ABC 491. And it's green, it was sort of a bronzy wash on the top. So that one's lovely. Sorry, just needed a little, a little sip of my drink. Okay. Oh, this one's fun. Of course, this is my probably my favorite color combination. Julie, are you uh, Julie that works here? Are you feeling a little left out because um, normally Julie would get to be here for all this stuff, and she's had to take a bit of a leave, so I guess she's probably missing it. Okay, this one is ABC four five five. It's a sea green Picasso, and look at that one. Uh, this one is really, really pretty and beachy and gorgeous. Love this one. I cannot wait to uh, start designing with that one. That is my absolute favorite color combo. It's funny how we have certain colors that make us happy. Like one of our customers, Anne, I know that if it's in purple, she'll love it. <laughs> and, you know, for me, it's the blue and the brown thing. Oh, look at more blue and brown. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> All right, this one is Sky Blue Picasso. So it's ABC 453, and it has sort of a nice dark topaz uh, color with um, a turquoise Picasso on there. So again, a lovely, lovely color combination. Yes, that um, th this one here, Kimberly, has it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, Anne, you will like the purple. This one is so sparkly and pretty. Very, very nice. So... Yeah. Are you missing being my Vanna? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's a weird year, that's for sure. Everything's so different. We're all trying to, um, we're all trying to do something a little different and I don't know. So this one is light pink Picasso ABC 497. And it really is just that. It's a light pink trans, it's like a transparent light pink with a beautiful Picasso finish. So it's kind of a gray if you can see there, it's kind of a grayed, maybe um, a little bit between gray and cream, the Picasso on there. And it's really a lovely, lovely color combination. That one's pretty. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. I tried really hard. It's I've been collecting this stuff for a couple months because um, I knew that I wasn't going to be going to Tucson, that's for sure. Even if the world had opened back up, I wasn't going, so... Now, one of the things that I thought I would try because I looked at these and went, ooh, I see earrings. So these ones are little lentils and this one is a uh, teal and sea green. And you can see you get a lot of beads on a strand. And so these little lentils have a hole just at the very top. So I don't know if I can start to show one because they don't really come out of there. I can't really show one, maybe right there. So you can see it's just one hole. And I thought these ones would be so, so cute as um, an earring. So this one is ABC 483 and they're the 12 millimeter lentils. And I only have, I think, five strands of them. They're a little pricier because there's so many beads on there. But this one would be great if you could come up with a cute earring. That would be a great one for selling something because there's, there's quite a few beads on there. Okay. <laughs> you need those lentils? Yeah, they're nice. There's not there, that many, but I'm gonna try and get more. All right, so I kind of went crazy with a uh, four millimeter and do I have, I might have some threes, but I mostly bought four because we sell more four than anything. So I bought a lot of new four millimeter fire polish. So this one is ABC 487 and this is the opaque purple iris. That one is really, really pretty. So I'll give you all the codes. So if you're seeing something that you just have to have, um, you'll know what the codes are. So that's ABC 487. And I have, these have been sitting in, you know, a box for a couple months, so I don't even know what half of them are. I have to look at them again. This one is ABC 500, and it is an opaque plum nebula. That one is so pretty. Look at that one. I don't know if it's translating well on the camera there. It's hard to tell. 
I think it probably looks better in real life than it does on camera because it's quite a nice purple. And this next one is lovely. This one is Opaque Periwinkle Nebula, ABC476. So this one's kind of an interesting combo because it's sort of in between a cobalt and a purple. It's the nebula finish on it that gives it kind of a unique color. So that one's very, very pretty. ABC476. <laughs> I just I love looking at the comments. <laughs> yeah, I say that a lot, don't I, Wanda? <laughs> So some of these are in limited quantities and I did put that on the website. Uh, some of these ones she only had um, just a small amounts. So I think on this one I only have 12 strands. This one is Opaque Matte Lilac ABC 565 and that's just a really lovely sort of matte rosy pink. That one's very pretty. All right, we're on to the next bucket here. It's so hard for me not to go a little crazy. I I love shopping as much as you guys do. I just can't help myself. All right, this one is ABC 480. It's the Opaque Yellow Nebula. Look at the sparkly in there, so pretty. So it's a really lovely sort of light olive green. And then that nebula finish on there just gives it all that sparkle. And I guess I'm not really too sure, to be honest, what the nebula finish is, but it looks like it has a little bit of a pink reflection to me. Look how nice that one is. Is everybody doing okay so far? Okay. So this one is eight, whoops, sorry for the, every time I move this or touch this camera, it goes flying. Um, <laughs> AVC 498 is the Opaque Raspberry. That one's very pretty. Very, very nice. I'm running out of room to fire these bags. Thanks, Lisa. I'm glad you could make it today. Okay, this one is ABC 542. It's Opaque Light Lavender maybe it's nebula yeah nebula so again it's that it's a really pretty sort of rosy purpley kind of color with that nebula finish on there so that one's super pretty and you know you never know how the colors are going to look on your monitor to you know compared to mine and because I'm looking at that one going oh well it doesn't look exactly like that but I guess that's what happens with beads, right? You can't really read the colors very well. Okay, this one I thought was really, really interesting. So I'm going to just take away half of that. So this one looks like little nuggets to me. What is the name of this one? So this is uh, Etched Full Labrador, ABC 490, 490. And you see how it looks kind of, it's it, they're faceted, but they kind of have that rough stone look on there. So they're really silver but it's got kind of a really neat etched sort of rough silver look to it. I thought these were very unique. I've never seen them out there before. So, and I thought I owned half of the, <laughs> half of what you could actually get out there. I have a lot of Czech glass. I've got an entire huge wall in the store because I love it so much. Thanks Marika, I think they are too. They're so pretty. This was a really good lot. I have a, um, a, a new vendor from the, from the Czech Republic that I buy from, and her stuff is spectacular, but the only problem is that she only gets it in once, so I can never replace them, which really stinks, but that's life. So this one is Opaque Blue Turquoise Nebula, ABC 470, and this one is a gorgeous sort of um, denim blue with that nebula finish on there. So you see how lovely that one is. I think that one's one of my more favorited ones. You know, I love the blue. And it does not look, on my monitor, that one looks really royal blue, but in real life, it's a real nice light denim blue. So 
I don't know how these are translating. You like that etched one, Cindy? It's really different, isn't it? Oh, this one is pretty. Oh my goodness. Uh, ABC 469, Opaque Green Turquoise Nebula. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. That one is like a dark tealy blue with that pinky nebula finish on there. Fabulous. Loving that one. How am I doing with my Vanna here? Doing okay? <laughs> Okay, there's a lot here. So if you guys get tired, just say, okay, Kelly, we've seen enough. <laughs> okay, so this one is Trans Ruby Luster, ABC 489, I think it is. That one's quite pretty. It's just got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Very, very nice. <laughs> Silly with sparkle. Yep. Okay. Oh, and this one I thought was super pretty. Very different. I've never uh, seen this one before either. This one is called Jadeite Opal or Opal. Yeah, Jadeite Opal. But look at the color on that. Again, very beachy looking. Oh, that one was very unique. Very, very pretty. So this one is ABC 540. getting a big mound here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you can pull them down a little bit, like just kind of that way, so I've got more room to dump these. Thanks. Oh, just maybe, yeah, or just pull them down or something. So I'm running out of room. Thanks. I have to get my assistance here. Okay, this one is ABC 538. It's olive travertine. So it's just kind of a nice olive color with the travertine finish on it. I'm going to kind of whip through these. You can never see enough? Okay, well, good. I'll keep you here for a little while. That's awesome. <laughs> i got lots here. <clears throat> Looks like I'm losing people, though. I guess people only have so long. But this will be on replay, too, so you can come back and see it later if you need to. Uh, this one is Opaque Turquoise AB, ABC 533. So it's that nice dark turquoise with just a little bit of an AB finish on there. So that one really catches the light. Really, really nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm always buried in beads. <laughs> when I go to Tucson, I usually have like, I don't know how many, 40 buckets that come back or something, and it's crazy. So I tried to, tried to do that again. All right, this one is ABC 572. It's the Matte Light Peach AB. So that one's really nice with the matte on there. I kind of like that with a little bit of a AB finish. That one's pretty. That was pretty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Carmen's just drooling over one of the ones here. <laughs> okay, this one is Opaque Lilac Luster, ABC 584. And that one's really nice. A really pretty sort of brownie purple with a nice luster finish to it. That one's very, very nice. And I thought this one was kind of unique. You know, sometimes when I buy this stuff, I don't really know what I'm buying. I just click buttons and just take it all, which is what I did with this one. I said to her, just send me everything that you got in. And she did. <laughs> so this one is Opaque Red Green Mix, ABC 467. So it's just a nice mix of reds and greens and whites. So it's very pretty, very unique. Not really just for Christmas, but it would make really great Christmas stuff. So... Here's another unique one. The color is really pretty. Um, it is called, let's see, uh, this one is Crystal Amber Shiny Brass ABC 531. So it doesn't look super, like you know how brass will just have all one note to it, but when it gets tarnished, it'll have that little bit of a sort of a black look to it. That's kind of what this has. 
It's got a little bit of a black sort of almost looks almost looks tarnished in a sense, which I love. So that one's a really unique piece. I think it's very, very cool. I always like to try and find something that's a little different. But like I said, with this one, I didn't even know what I was buying. I just trusted her and said, send me one of each. <laughs> or 36 of each is what I actually did get. Oops, sorry, there goes the camera again. Good Lord, silly thing. Okay, this one, I get rid of some of them there. This one is ABC 541. It's opaque canary with blue something. Blue, something, <laughs> travertine, I don't, is it? Okay, so that one's kind of unique looking. Get my fingers out of the way. Thanks. And again, this is one of my favorite ones, but she only had 12 of them. So if you want this, grab it fast, because I know it'll sell out when I had it in, um, my what did I have it in super duos it sold out and I've never been able to get it back so this is called California pink and it's that gold and pink that is just fabulous and I only have 12 of these and it's ABC 512 love 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 those ones oh thanks Carmen <clears throat> oh she's really helping me here <laughs> this is making life easier uh, this is a matte teal AB, ABC 535, just a nice basic one, but very pretty with that AB finish on there and being in matte too. It's not quite so shiny, which I quite like. Oh, this chair is killing my back. <laughs> yeah, you should have switched. Oh, except that one goes, it's, <laughs> lost, it's lost the air in it or whatever, so I end up sitting on the floor. Okay, this one is ABC 478. It's an opaque bronze rose. So that one's really pretty. It's a nice rosy brown with kind of a gold finish on it. Love, love, love that one. Did I tell you the number? Yeah, ABC 478. <clears throat> and this one, oops, sorry, keep hitting this dang thing. <sighs> I need to get a new rig. Okay, this one is ABC 478. It's a trans sapphire azure. Azuro? I don't know. So it's a nice, pretty blue. With a little bit of a sparkle to it. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way done. So we're doing pretty good here. This one is ABC 56. I can't read that. That's a nine, I think. It's called Mint, no, Matte Hint of Mint AB. And that literally is what it is. Just a little tiny hint of green on there. Super pretty. Oh, I didn't realize how much this was going to hurt my back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, Marika, I did not get any sixes. She only got fours in this time, so I just grabbed them all because they were so pretty. This one is called Matte Cappuccino AB, ABC 532. That one's very nice. And this one is Trans Green Nebula, ABC 471. So it has the green with the uh, pinky nebula finish on there. Oh, I need a drink of something. I'm gonna start coughing. Ooh, this was, this one's speaking to me. This one is um, Opaque Blue Lazure Luster, ABC 563. Look at that one. Oh, yes. Come to mama. <laughs> that one needs to be um, made into something soon. <laughs> I, I, whoops. Oh, I hit the camera. Oh, I apologize. I'm getting too excited over the beads. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what we got happening here, Carmen. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. so that is all of the um, the fire polish that I got in for now. There'll be more, of course, because I always buy more. But um, that's what I have in that whole section. So I'm just looking to see if there's anybody that needs anything answered, and I think we're good. Okay, so we do sell an awful lot of Chinese crystal. You know, they're just the little faceted crystals. And um, I have been working really hard at getting the prices way down. So 
If you ever buy our Chinese crystal, you know that if you add it to the cart, um, you can get Chinese crystal, wood, semi-precious, and pearls. And if you put $200 worth of that, anything from those, you will get them for 50% off. So you only pay $100. Uh, so you can buy single strands of these, but you can also get them really cheap. So you can get them half price. But the other thing that I've been doing is I've really, really um, lowered the prices on things. So these are huge long strands. These ones are like, I don't know, 17 inches or whatever. And they're only $4.99. If you add them to the deal, you get them for $2.50. So that is really, really good. So this one is ABC583. It's a little three by four millimeter light salmon. So you can see how pretty that one is. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a nice um, sort of milky kind of color. And this one actually made me go, oh wow, when I took it out of the box. <laughs> so this one is ABC577 and it's a four by three uh, half, or cop half copper plate. Did I swear there? Did I say no. something I shouldn't have? <laughs> like uh oh what just came out of my mouth <laughs> so this one is really really pretty so that one's again only $4.99 or you can get that one at half price very pretty try to figure out how to get it out of here and this one's a little smaller this is a two by three those ones were three by four and this is ABC 527 and this is a dark turquoise AB look how pretty those are very very nice yeah Pardon me. Okay, this one is a nice matte opaque gray. It's ABC 561. That one's just a nice basic kind of one. And then I also have, this is turquoise. It's nice green turquoise, ABC 576. And then these are all just $4.99. So pretty reasonable just the way they are. And then if you add them to our semi-precious deal, just, that's kind of noisy. <laughs> um, you can get them pretty reasonable. So I've really, really worked hard at getting the prices down as much as I can in the last little bit, which is not always easy to do, but I'm doing my best. All right, this one's a really pretty medium purple, ABC 555. So just a nice three by four opaque purple. And then I bought a lot of these because I really love working with them. They're a nice faceted four millimeter round. So they have, with that faceting on there, it makes it super sparkly and just really, really lovely. So these ones are again are $4.99. They're a smaller strand, um, but they're a little bit different style. This one is BBB004, and this is a nice green AB. And then this one is Whoops. Oh, sorry. I just hit the thing again. This one's actually still got the, can, maybe yeah. we can undo that one because it's too hard to show them because it's still got that thing on there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So this one is just a plain, what color is that? Just the, I called it old lace. ABC 451. So just a nice sort of champagne-y color. That one's nice to, simple to work with. Just seeing if anybody's, <laughs> Michelle, I do pop on live once in a while. <laughs> once in a while I do okay thank you Carmen okay so this one is Rose AB BBB001 so it's a nice dark sort of mauvey rose with the AB finish on it and then and a lot of this stuff just came in yesterday so we've been scrambling trying to get pictures and get it on the website it's been a little bit crazy but you know you do what you gotta do uh, ABC 564, this is a light gray AB. That one's pretty. I like that one. I like all these sparkles. Now my staff get the lovely job of trying to figure out where in the heck to put this in the store because the store is pretty full. Uh, this one is C green AB and it's BBB002. That one's a really pretty color. See, I just love this. I carry a lot of this particular style, the four millimeter faceted round, because they just pick up the light. And one bead is a perfect little accent. You'll see me use these a lot in my um, YouTube videos. Oh, shout out to Carmen for her assistance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's making life a whole lot easier. Uh, BBB003, it's the four millimeter marine blue AB. 
pretty that one is. That one's very nice. And I can barely see it in my eyes with my cataract. So I'm, I think these probably look even better than I think they do. <laughs> oh goodness, I finally have an appointment to go get them looked at. Everything has been delayed here because of COVID and it's been a pain in the patootie. All right, this one is Cream AB, ABB 946. So that was just a nice cream with the AB finish on it. Oh, this is great. Okay, and the last of this, that's the last of this one, right? This is the Thistle AB BBB005. So this was a real soft, pretty, rosy color with the AB finish on it. I'm a fan of this one. Okay, so now, like I had said before, all of my semi-precious is uh, sitting in boxes on in transport here. So I don't have much in the way of semi-precious to show you today. That is a whole other thing, and I will just literally put those all on the website. So the best thing is to just look on the um, on the what's new page for those when they come in. But I do have a few. So this one is a five by eight faceted rondelle, and this is watermelon quartz. And that one is kind of funky looking. It's got the odd bead in there that looks a little bit kind of pink, which is, I guess, what the watermelon quartz is. Um, so these ones are only $14.99. So, and again, they're part of our $200 deal discount. So you could get those ones for like $7.50. $7 so that's a pretty good deal for that. So I've got that one. And also in the faceted rondelle, I have this Ruby and Zoocyte. And I got a really good price on that. So that one's $14.99. So that's a really good deal. So you see, I am working very hard at trying to keep my prices down. Okay, I'm gonna grab those ones first. Oh, sorry, I'll do those ones last. So just a, you know, I've just got a bunch of funny little things here. So one of the things that we've never put on the website before are the little skulls. So these are just little eight millimeter skulls. And these ones are only $6.99. This one's ABC 557. So they're just a little cream eight millimeter one. And then I have them in blue. Sort of a nice turquoisey blue. Some people really like skulls, so I figured I would just grab a few more. And then I have them in purple for Anne Laird. Because <laughs> she loves her purple. And I'm gonna bother with those, I don't think. So just this last one. So the last thing I've got here, which is what I did my video on this last, or this week, is on these little polymer clay uh, beads. So these ones are really, really fun, really pretty. My granddaughters all love these, of course, because, you know, of the colors. But when they come in the store, this is what they want. So that is the last thing. They're $4.99, and they're ABC 528. So if you get those in the half price thing, that's a pretty good deal. So that is it. So let me just flip you guys back up, and then I can have another little bit of a chat with you. So Carmen's going to help me here again, and we'll hope for the best. Just gonna slip you around there. All right, thanks, Carmen. Don't wanna get my fingers in there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo, we did it. Thank you. Yay, we didn't have any bad things happen today, so that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, thank you for all your help. Goodness, that was a lot to go through. Okay. Well, thank you, Kirsten. I, um, you know, I, this is just a small little bit. I, like I said, I've got boxes and boxes of stuff coming. Um, I don't want to move that too much. It's crooked, but we'll just have to just go with crooked today. Um, <laughs> I've got tons. I bought, I bought so many semi-precious that I don't even remember what I bought. I, I have a whole, uh, maybe six or seven i'm just trying to think of what i bought like six or seven different colors of um new aura quartz because everybody seems to really like that um yeah there's a lot i have lots of really great stuff just all sorts of things yeah this is all the sparkly stuff today so i've got matte beads and you know i've got some of the new madagascar rose quartz that we've been getting in because everybody really loves that it's got a very milky looking color to it versus the regular rose quartz is very um kind of translucent so the um, the Madagascar is very milky and very, very pretty. What else do I have coming in? Uh, so much stuff. I had one of my vendors that I just love. She's one of my all time favorite uh, vendors. And uh, she phoned me the other day or FaceTimed me and she said, let's go shopping. So she has a 5,000 square foot warehouse. And I shopped on, uh, what what's that? I can't remember the program we were using, not FaceTime, but something like that. 
Anyway, she just uh, took me around her warehouse and I was like, five of those, 20 of those, 30 of those, 100 of those. <laughs> and then she gave me the bill. <laughs> oh my word, it was ridiculous, but it was fun. So all that stuff's coming in and that will all end up on the website at some point in the next week or two. It's supposed to arrive on Friday and then I have to go down to the States and pick it up and then get it back here and start getting it all, all the pictures, because uh, almost everything in that entire collection is brand new. So, um, yeah, so that's gonna be really cool. So when you when that stuff all comes, you'll just go to the website and just go to what's new under the semi-precious and you'll see all the brand new stuff. I'll take all the old stuff off and put all the new stuff. Sorry, my throat is like I got a massive tickle. Ah. Hi, Rain. <laughs> uh, the ETA on the semi-precious barb. Um, well, I've got some coming in on Friday, but it probably won't hit the website till midweek because I have to take it all out, as you know, because you used to work here. <laughs> um, I have to get it all prepared. So I wouldn't imagine any of the um, semi-precious will start getting on there till uh, mid, mid next week, maybe. Um, and then I've got another shipment coming from China they're actually manufacturing it right now. Um, so it will probably, I would think it'll probably get out of China maybe by Friday. And then it's usually only three days. So that stuff is coming too. And I think I've got two or three huge boxes of stuff coming. Um, and that's some, some of my, um, I just replaced most of the stuff that I was out of. So, but I did get some new stuff too. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of new stuff. So let's go back to the beginning here. I just want to tell you guys a couple of little housekeeping things. So don't forget if you're just coming on now that we have a couple gifts to give away today. So one is this lovely gift bag of the new um, renewal line from Tierra Cast. And this is all in gold. So th there's that gorgeous Luna moth there. So you can win this. The other thing I'm giving away was this gorgeous and very generous gift from Softlex. So they've got a little bag of mixed beads and findings, and then a whole pile of their Softlex wire and their Softlex craft wire. And this one is about a hundred dollar value. It's just about like ninety-seven dollars or something like that. So the way that you can win is just leave a comment. Just you can tell me I'm fabulous, or you can tell me what your favorite thing was, or anything that you want. And then I'm gonna leave that open till about Friday. And then I will uh, do a, a draw. We're gonna use electronic things, so it's not like I'm picking favorites or anything like that. Um, so send some good you know, vibes out into the world to make sure that you get it, because I think either one of those would be a really nice gift. And like I said before, everything that I showed today, um, you'll be able to go back and see it in replay, because I will put this uh, as a, I'll post it back to the page. And it is all under, on the very, very top bar, you'll see all the different things uh, for the store and you'll just look for Tucson Reveal. And that will show you everything that I showed you today. So yeah, there's some good stuff there, isn't there, Holly? The giveaways, I thought they're really great. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to be able to see some comments here. Yes, Michelle, I do too. They're my favorite. Ah, oh, thanks, Pam. Thanks. I don't get on. I don't really have a lot of time anymore to do uh, Facebook lives. And I know that people enjoy it. And I do enjoy it. It's just hard to try to get, you know, all of this going on. So I'm glad that I was able to do it. This used to be my time. One o'clock Wednesdays was what I did every day for oh, three years, I think. Um, so I kind of, um, I kind of miss doing them. That's for sure. You know, it's, it's something that I did for a long time. <laughs> you already got your order in, yeah. Anne. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, everybody. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody coming and taking time out of their day to uh, come and say hi and to see what we've got going on. And, you know, we don't have Tucson this year, but we're all doing our best to make it just as enjoyable for everybody because it's kind of the time of year where everybody's starting to get that itch. You want to do something and maybe start creating with some new things. So, so we're trying to do the best we can this year with the crazy circumstances. But I tell you, this has been hard for me not to be able to go to Tucson. I really, really enjoy uh, that time. And, uh, you know, I like seeing everybody and being with all my people. And uh, we don't get to do that this year. So doing it virtually is a little bit, I guess, second, second best, right? <laughs> so... 
Yeah, Holly, I can't wait. I don't, they're apparently they've changed the show date till April, but I'm not gonna go in April. Uh, it's still, it's just way too, there's still too much of this, the COVID happening. And now the, we've got two new strains here in Vancouver. <coughs> Pardon me, such a tickle. So um, yeah, two new strains that just showed up and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hunker down in my house and never come back. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Corky. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's just hard to get used to doing things differently because I've gone to Tucson every year for uh, 17 years. So, yeah, way too COVIDy. Yeah, very much so. I know it's kind of one of those things that people don't always want to talk about, but the reality is, is it's still out there and it's hit um, our store. Uh, we haven't had it here, but we've lost um, friends and people unfortunately uh, one person has lost a couple so it's everywhere right now and it uh, it's a it's a nasty it's a nasty disease so I really wish that it would get back to normal because I want to be able to go see a movie and do that kind of stuff again I miss being able to go out and I miss traveling and seeing my friends and I miss hugs I miss hugging my children I haven't hugged I think I only hugged my son twice in the last year and I really miss it but Oh, hi, Jen. Well, hopefully your bracelet kits get there soon. You know, the postal system is still a little bit backlogged. I heard that even in the United States, with USPS, they're still backlogged. <clears throat> they're still struggling to get everything in a timely manner to people. It's so, I don't know. I think it's just worldwide right now. So, yeah, I just saw somebody, I think somebody just posted um, on the GBE. So, on next weekend, on the, not this coming up one, but the following weekend, uh, the weekend of the uh, 5th, 6th, 7th, 7th, or something like that, on foot, or the football week on weekend, right? Um, we're doing our Great Beat Extravaganza again, and I've been, um, I'm coming back, and so I will be doing one of my favorite uh, leather bracelets. I've been hanging on to this one for a couple of years. I haven't done it on YouTube because I wanted to have it for something special because it really is one of my favorite ones. And so I'll be uh, teaching you how to do that. And there will be kits that you can purchase after. Of course, I'm too busy and just didn't get my rear end gear and get it so that you could have them in advance. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do that, but you'll be able to um, pick out your colors and stuff like that after the event so make sure that weekend that you come and watch um if you don't know what i'm talking about it's the great beat extravaganza and there's a whole pile of us there's 17 different presenters and we're all going to be making projects a lot of you might have seen the one that we had in november and it was so much fun it was it, i was so nervous to do it but it turned out really great and it was lots of fun and everybody seemed to really um, enjoy it and my project sold out in less than 15 minutes it was crazy it was so so busy oh my gosh like we had so many orders on monday we walked in and went uh-oh <laughs> What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> but we blasted them all out. We got them all out in two days. It was just crazy. My girls just worked really, really hard. So, so make sure you come and join us. I'm the last um, presenter on Saturday. I'm at 4:45 Pacific Standard Time. So whatever time that is for you, I don't know. Um, and I will have a rum and coke because it's the end of a Saturday. <laughs> so I'm going to be having a rum and coke. So pour a drink and come and join me. And you can come and um, and see what kind of crazy I get up to. And I don't know what else I'll have that day. I may have some giveaways, probably. And uh, I may have some product to show you. We only get an hour this time, so we don't have as much. So it will be fun to do, that's for sure. So yeah, Jen, I don't know if you went to the last one, so make sure that you sign up for this one. You have to go to their page. So you go to the Great Bead Extravaganza page and um, ask to be invited or, yeah, to join or whatever. And then um, we'll let you join and then you can uh, watch it. So, and there's different presenters all day long. It starts early in the morning, it runs until me, and then the next day uh, there's also one on the Sunday. So, and I believe on Friday night, we all get together and do a Zoom conference call thing and to show you all the projects that we're making. So I will try and do it this time. I didn't get to do it last time. So yeah, lots of fun things. Everybody's doing all kinds of presentations these days. So there's a lot of stuff. You just kind of have to dig around and see what everybody's doing because everybody's trying to do something to keep you guys all entertained. So we thank you all so much for your uh, support and for always coming and watching all of our lives and our videos. It means the world to us. So 
Without you, we'd be nothing, that's for sure. So I'm very, very grateful. Yeah, and everything can be replayed. All of this will be, re you can replay this, you can replay uh, the Great Beat Extravaganza, and of course my uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't watched my YouTube channel, make sure you hop on over there and uh, uh, watch my videos, because I think I have about 130 or more than, maybe 140 now, so. Alrighty, so that's about it. I guess we've been going for just over an hour, so I don't want to keep you too long, because I know some of you have probably already been on watching a few things today. So thank you again for joining me today and looking at all some of the some of the stuff that I got for our, you know our, our Tucson event. <laughs> there's going to be more to come, but I won't probably do a live. I'll just pop it on the website so you can always find it that way. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment so that you can perhaps win one of the uh, two prizes I've got for today. And um, well, Jen, you guys, you'll just have to come back and we'll have to have our own little thing, right? <laughs> Jen and I keep saying we're going to FaceTime each other and then we're always so darn busy. Nobody ever gets around to anything. So, <clears throat> okay, so everybody have a fabulous day. And as Deborah just said, stay uh, safe and stay healthy and everybody take care of themselves and think about all the fun things that you can uh, create. And make sure when you uh, create some stuff that you pop onto my um, Kelly's Bead Boutique uh, Beads and Blab group, I think I've got. There. And you can show some of your wares because everybody likes to be able to show what you've made. So hop on that page. There's lots of great advice. You can um, take pictures and post the pieces. You can ask questions. I will hop in there sometimes and, and um, you know, say, hey, that's fabulous, or I'll answer a question. Um, but it's a good place to kind of, you know, um, meet up with other like-minded uh, beaters. So, okay. So everybody have a fabulous day and we will be back to talk to you. I'm sure in the next little while. So there you go. Thanks for joining me today and we'll talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye everybody.